Hello everyone, this is Stephen Clark with the latest and greatest from Thailand. Well, some of it anyway. Bangkok police under investigation for beating up a drunk in the back of a pickup. Burma or Myanmar? Rangon or Yangon? Take your pick. Naughty nine vendors in Kalsan Road selling laughing gas in balloons to tourists. And of course, Miss Grand Thailand Costume Competition. Very nice girls, believe me. But first we'll head for Pattaya to see why the tourist industry is suffering. And European visitors to Pattaya are down 30% this year, as compared to last year. The strength of the Thai Baht and visitors, well, visiting other Southeast Asian countries that have better deals on than Thailand at the moment. A leading tourism official has now confirmed Pattaya expats and locals have been saying for the past year. Days of the Europeans visiting Pattaya in large numbers are over. There's also been a large shift in tourist destination from European countries. With the rise of the Chinese tourists and uh, now the even bigger rise in the Indian tourists, a spokesman for Industry and Tourism Association of Pattaya commented, This year's low season in Pattaya, along with some alarming statistics, there are between 20 and 30% fewer tourists this low season and it's obvious to anybody in Pattaya that the bars are empty and the restaurants are empty and Europeans are no longer coming to Thailand or Pattaya due to the strength of the Thai Baht and also due to other things like competition in other countries. It's also been noted that the Chinese tourist, large tourist groups have kept Thailand and Pattaya afloat but unfortunately the tour businesses are still under threat as well. Events such as the Phuket boat tragedy and an assault by an immigration officer on a Chinese tourist at Don Mion airport have proven disastrous and also the Chinese tourists are down in quantities this year as well. But not all bad, a new trend is um, Indians visiting Pattaya but it has been noted that the Europeans and Russians are no longer visiting Pattaya in large numbers and keeping the entertainment industry afloat. But Pattaya has one thing up its sleeve. It has Utopia Airport and Sawinapum Airport close by. So I don't think uh, Pattaya will ever die. Let's hope not anyway. Bangkok police are under investigation for beating up a restrained drunk in the back of a truck. Seven officers from a Bangkok police station are currently under investigations following an incident of police brutality in Bangkok. The incident happened at 2 p.m. on July the 7th. The man was beaten in public view outside the Luxong police station. The incident was captured by a mobile camera and posted on Facebook. An initial investigation reported that the officers were angry because the man was drunk and abusive and they were trying to pacify him by kicking the crap out of him. <laughs> they complained that the man was allegedly spitting at them while driving back to the station for processing. I don't know, maybe they should have spat back at him or something, I don't know, or urinated on him or something in self-defense. I don't know, then it would look much better. Bangkok police under investigation for urinating on a drunk in the back of a truck. Sounds a bit better, doesn't it? <laughs> Myanmar or Burma? Myanmarese or Burmese? Burmese or Myanmar? Why are the countries known by two names? And the capital Rangoon to Yangon. I've been to this country many, many times. Yes, Burma or Myanmar? Sometimes Burma is just an easier word to say and pronounce. Why does the Southeast Asian country have two names? Which is the question many people ask, the million dollar question. Well, it's uh, rich in history and has a roller coaster of ups and downs through its career, leading to a somewhat, shall we say, dual identity. Yes, the ruling military joined to change its name from Burma to Myanmar in 1989, a year after thousands were killed in the suppression of a popular uprising, and the Rangoon became Yangon. In the past year, the government has faced quite a few challenges as it embarks on social and economical reform. And as tourists have increased, or tourism, many people are still confused and don't know why it changed its name from Burma to Myanmar. Uh, Burma's got a long way to go before it comes as popular as well, neighboring countries like uh, Thailand, China, and India. 
It's important to know the story behind the name changes in Burma, or Yangon. And as Burma still struggles with domestic problems, one can only hope that its identity will improve over time. As I said, I've been to Burma many times in the past. I'll choose to use the word Burma, I think. Or maybe Yangon. Who knows? You're uh, allowed to, apparently, so you can choose whichever country uh, name you wish to call it. Even the locals are confused and don't know what to call their own country. I mean, it says a lot, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to use the word Burma. Just thought I'd uh, bring that up. Um, Burma's got two names. They also call it Myanmar. So, usually, you will find Rangon with Yangon in brackets. Or Burma with Myanmar in brackets. But on the other hand, you could have Yangon and Rangoon in brackets and Myanmar and Burma in brackets. Take your pick. And here's the piece de resistance. What do the Burmese people say? Well, the Burmese people say, you would believe it, Burma, because it's easier to say. And Rangoon and Yangon, Rangoon, easier to say. The only people that say Yangon are foreigners. <laughs> What's the matter? Getting confused? I better leave it at that, eh? From wild boars to black crabs, tuk tuks, plates of pad thai, black panthers, the costume designers have not held back in this year's Miss Grand Thailand competition. The 77 Thai provinces have been represented by the contestants in the 2009 Miss Grand Thailand Costume Competition. The national costume part of the competition was held on July the 13th in Bangkok. Ten of the best went into preliminary finals last night. The winner will be announced at Bi Tech Bangna Hall tomorrow night. That's around the corner from where I used to live, actually. The winner will go to Venezuela in October to be contested in the Miss Grand International. One of the 90 contestants expected to participate in an international beauty pageant there. Some of the costumes were spectacular to say the least. Many of the complex and detailed costumes appear to have been designed by engineering departments rather than the costume designers. And uh, I've just shown a few of the favourites. So good luck to the final winner and uh, they'll be heading to Venezuela for the grand final, I suppose they'd call it. I've got to tell you, some of those costumes are fantastic. The girls look absolutely beautiful, but uh, let's see how they go. Good luck, girls, and we'll see you on the winning streak in Venezuela. Nine Thais arrested for selling nitrogen oxide balloons in Khao San Road, Bangkok, Thailand, and this is no laughing matter. Yes, nine Thais have been arrested for selling balloons filled with nitrogen oxide. That's laughing gas, if you don't know what that is. To foreign tourists in Khao San Road, in the Bangkok area. Now we can really call Thailand the land of smiles. Police and officials from the Office of the Food and Drug Administration arrested them, or oh, the seven little happy sellers, on Khao San Road, which is frequented by a lot of travellers eager for adventure and excitement. <laughs> Khao San Road transforms into a swamp of drinking tourists, grizzly expats and countless locals, all revealing in the Khao San Road. Along with the cheap food and the cheap beer sellers, now they are giving out laughing gas for you to enjoy. Everybody feels that the gas is benign and harmless and a temporary piece of fun. But that's not always the case with laughing gas. So, nine happy little sellers selling laughing gas in balloons to tourists visiting pubs on Kowson Road. The Bureau and FDA officials organised a raid on the famous tourist strip, found nine men selling the balloons. They were arrested and taken to the police station to face charges of selling controlled drug without permission. Police Deputy Commissioner, Police Major General Sukhan Pramayan said the use of nitrous oxide is permitted as an anaesthetic and for dental extractions. 
has this quick acting and reduces pain. It lets you laugh your guts out. You know, you really laugh your head off while you're having your teeth pulled out. And vehicle manufacturers also use the gas to fill airbags. So you can laugh your head off while you're having a smash, I guess. I don't know. Maybe you can uh, laugh your head off when you're about to hit another car or... Uh well, maybe you can laugh your head off as you're going over a cliff. I don't know. Wow. But he said the gas is also often sold at various entertainment places to induce euphoria, a state of total relaxation. Side effects include nausea and loss of consciousness. Laughing gas is readily available in Thailand. It is seen as acceptable and safe amongst sellers. The misconception of its safety is a myth that only education can defeat. And the advice is quite simple. <laughs> Steer clear of laughing gas. Or it could kill you. <laughs> well, that was a lighthearted look at what's happening in uh, Thailand lately. And uh, if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Okay, well, I'll catch you next time around. Bye now.